hey guys welcome to my channel so first of all i'm glad that you guys like my customization this guy asked me to make a video on how to customize linux in general for noobs like you mentioned rice i don't know what that is so he was confused about this word rising which i used in my past video that's why in this video i'm going to explain what it is and show you how i customize my system but before i start if you are already deep into customizations you probably want to skip this video because this is totally going to be a basic video for the beginners but if you still want to hang up then welcome to the video so rising means nothing but customizations in simple words and rise is a word that is commonly used to refer to making visual improvements and customizations so this is how it looks in the application section and this is the wallpaper that i'm using currently and i like to keep it minimal like no applications in the front page and nothing but i do have like customizations heavily integrated with my terminal i'll show you how i do that so this is my terminal okay let me zoom in i have one more thing that is the drop down terminal that is coming from yakuake so if you are not sure about yakuake so this is the application that i am using yakuake you can just do like a uh, sudo pacman and then yakuake and it will install on your machine right so that's about yakuake but let me show you my configuration actually i'm using the Ars linux and the cell i'm using is zsh 5.8 and the kernel version is 5.14 and i'm using the kd plasma desktop environment and the window manager is kwin that is also coming from kd plasma and the theme for the window manager i'm using is sweet mars right and i'll come to these icons themes a little bit later in this video and let me show you how my terminal is customized so if i go to nvm zshrc so this is my zshrc configuration and here i am using the power level 10k as my zsh theme so this is the power level 10k github repo so you can see that they have various types of you know systems so if you go to get started section and go to oh my zsh you'll see that there's a repo link just copy this and paste this on your terminal and just hit enter it will you know place download and place this onto this you know zsh home then oh my zsh custom so maybe you want to do that and then after doing it go to your know, zsh rc configuration file and add the zsh theme that is what i did actually like this is the thing that i'm talking about and after you do that and close your terminal and next time open your terminal you'll see a configuration page where you'll have to configure your power level 10k the way you will like it so maybe you want to go through that and see how you like it and then you'll see how it looks and also i did customize my you know neovim configuration i'll also show you that so also uh in the plugins section i'm using arts linux zdc suggestion and zdc syntax highlighting and this git is default one right so what this arch linux does is basically like when you do you know sudo pacman then s or something you know write something so basically instead of doing all these things i can just do pack in and it will you know do the same thing actually so this is you know this creates an alias for this whole thing and you can if you go to their website you'll see so many so this is the arch linux plugin that i was talking about so this is what i was talking right this pack in and you can see the whole you know alias section and see whichever you like and they have also support for or helpers and like others like pack or treason you can literally go and they have also configured the ea so yeah maybe you can check this out and then these zdc auto suggestions self explanatory so it basically suggests you what you should type like what are the things that you typed already right this is coming from your history but yeah you can also do that and the syntax highlighting basically tells you like if like if you type something right or wrong if i type it some wrong right then it will give me green if i type something wrong it will give me red that's basically that thing explains right and that is about my terminal and if you want to you know get the power level 10k configuration maybe you want to come to this page this their repo yes their repo and do it yourself but uh for the neobeam configuration i have made a configuration for myself you can actually check that out right so this is the nvim and this is my repo right so go to this repo all the links are down in the description so what you need to do just clone this and follow this guide actually right if you are using arch obviously 
this is like one hit like one command and go everything right and new of him and modify the way you wanted and this is how actually many of him looks guys like if i do n beam this is what it looks if i open anything you'll see and another thing that i want to mention is that i also use ranger so ranger is basically a terminal file management file manager right so this is the ranger and this is how it looks in this machine because i didn't want to make it like too customized because i only use this when i want to you know like see like so many files at a once and see what are, what are the things there are like so that's about like my ranger configuration maybe you want to look into it and see like what are the things they have and this is how it looks and if i go to any of the file you'll see that files and everything so yeah maybe you want to check this out also the ranger configuration is also there so this is my ranger configuration maybe you want to check this out also now let's just see the system configuration that i have so if i go to my system you'll see that in the appearance section i have two themes so this is coming from all kde guys actually right so if you use kde and then you'll see this system thing maybe you want to start with kde actually right if you're using something else go try kde and then you'll already able to customize this thing so in the global theme i have like sweet mars and white star as my two themes that i use in combination so if you want to get them click on this get new global themes and just download this sweet mars and white shark also there's this uh sweet mars thing like in the playing.com you can also download this and there's this kd store you can also download this from there and in the application section i'm using the breeze this is the default one that i use plasma style i'm using the sweet mars plasma style in the colors i'm using the white star colors right so window decoration i'm using the sweet mars one and what you need to do if you install this for the first time you'll see these buttons are big right so you need to edit this and in the button size make it tiny so that it looks good and in the fonts i'm using the default fonts because that works for me and the another one font actually i did is hack font guys so hack is a nerd font right so if you don't know about nerd font just google it nerd fonts and you'll see that right in the icons i'm using these white or dark icons because when i installed sweet marts it also came with this sweet candy icons but i didn't actually like it guys really because it looks kind of you know you know janky and i share my screen with my colleagues and everything so i didn't want to make it that's why i use this white or dark and also it looks kind of minimal to me maybe you want to add any other icons you know check icons from this get icons and then see which icon use you like and in the cursors i'm using the white star cursors because the default one this bridge one and i wanted to make something else that's why i use this white star cursors you can also get new cursors and download this and in the splash screen i'm using the sweet mars so this is how it looks actually guys and then we have white star dark but i don't use it because i don't like it actually so yeah you can also download like other splash screens there are a whole lot of you know uh, splash screens maybe you want to check them out so that's about the appearance this is how it looks and i did some other changes that is like in the window manager i did some add some window rules for the my chrome browser because i sometimes have to use chrome because of my you know office work so that's about that but preferably and most of the times until unless i'm doing my office work i use firefox okay i'll come to that in later so go to windows behavior and you'll see this thing called virtual desktop you'll see there will be one but maybe you want to keep another one if you click on this ad it will create another one desktop and you can you know like scroll through them so yeah that's about that and in the screen locking you can check like uh, how much time you know you want to lock your screen and the desktop effects you can enable the wobbly effect if you know if you don't know about wobbly effect so if i apply this so you see this is how it looks so yeah you can actually customize this according to your needs maybe you want to do more oh my god let's see this oh you see see but i don't like it guys right you can also do magic lamp so magic lamp is like uh the you know apple thing like if you do this it just went there right 
but if i do again you see it comes back like this so yeah that's about magic lamp maybe you want to enable that if you like it but i don't like it anymore i used to have that before you know so that's about my system configuration in terms of customization and rising but i don't you know customize it heavily because i want to look it look like minimal that's why i didn't go through the whole customization but yeah i do have another machine where i you know customized it and raised it like heavily i'll show you that in another video so that's about it and let's just see how i you know customize my firefox because these days firefox also comes with uh, so many you know bloats and everything that i don't like and many people also don't like so maybe you want to harden your browser so hardening again means like you want to you know de google your browser basically that means you have full control over your browser until like instead of having control to others like google and all that other stuff so yeah any any website that you visit right so make sure that they don't spook and in on you so to harden your browser what you need to do you know just go to settings i'll have to you know i have the settings on so in the privacy section what i did i actually enabled the tracking protection as strict and i enabled the do not always track enable and apart from that i have enabled you know disabled the location camera microphone all these things and the pop-up windows and everything and other like certificates and everything and i also select the enable https only mode in all windows and you can also use another you know plugin that is this https everywhere so this makes sure so that yeah if there's any site that is using http it will you know warn you that this site is using in you know http and it will show you that like then you can decide if you want to visit that or not but i'll share this you know my firefox configuration to the down in the description maybe you want to you know set that to your needs but if you want to make your own you know uh, customized uh, hardening you can definitely do that go to this ffprofile.com and you can you know choose like what are the things that you want like uh disable firefox into traps disable checking if firefox is default trim then in the privacy you can disable like dom storage disable index db private container for new tab so all these things including webgl and so many other things like you can also disable webrtc then you won't be able to actually you know use google uh sorry uh, your google meet so yeah make sure you actually like understand and then make your own configuration and if you want to know more about configuration like what is this thing and all that like all these jargons maybe you want to go to this blog like by krish Jiao. he explained everything in detail like why you should not use google chrome why you should hardening your browser firefox and like what are the preferences like search engine location access and whatnot he basically explained everything and if you want to know like more about what you should do like uh after installing firefox like you can check this video by mental outlaw he also explained like what are the things you should do and why you should do that right so that's that about this browser firefox and this is how i do it and this is about it guys like uh about my setup and everything for my system this is my office system i mean i use it for office and like my development heavily so i can't really make it too heavy customization so yeah but i do have another one and let me know if you have any other you know comment you know if you have any you know queries i'll definitely you know answer to that so yeah and if you like this video please like this video and do subscribe because we are almost close to you know 180 and maybe we can do 200 within this week that means like in today is november 1 so maybe we can do it like in seven days right so yeah that would be awesome guys i know you guys can do it so yeah subscribe and bye see you in the next video